What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a belly drum Snorlax team for ranked regulation F. Now, belly drum, super dope move that actually boosts your attack stat to the max at the cost of half of your own HP. So we're going to be looking to pair it up with Clefairy and that Figgy Berry and Gluttony to get some HP back and, you know, popping belly drum and kind of rolling out from there. But this team right here is full of Trick Room Pokemon as well. You got the Cresselia, and you got other Pokemon that thrive out in the Trick Room, such as Glacier and Enamorous. But Snorlax is going to be the first Pokemon that we do talk about with the Figgy Berry and Gluttony Berry. Usually, I like the Citrus Berry, but we're trying it out with the Figgy Berry today. It's got Body Slam, Belly Drum, Rock Slide, and EQ. I do love this moveset. In our second slot, we got the Crest with Levitate and the Cover Cloak, so it can't be faked out, with Lunar Blessing, Moon Blast, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. In our third slot is going to be another Trick Room user, going to be Got to Tell, Shadow Tag, Citrus Berry, Trick Room, Psychic, Fake Out, and last but not least, it's got Heal Pulse, so two Trick Room users that can actually heal up ally Pokemon, such as Snorlax, keep it on the field a little bit longer. In our fourth slot, we got Glacier over here. Again, another Pokemon that thrives out in the Trick Room with Chilling Knight and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got a great move set of Icicle Crash, Stomping Tantrum, Close Combat, and Heavy Slam to deal with those Flutter Mains and other Fairy types. Our fifth Pokemon is going to be the support Pokemon Clefairy, going to be pairing this Pokemon up with Snorlax, being able to follow me, life due for more HP recovery, and just allowing Snorlax to really thrive out. Our final Pokemon is going to be Enamorous, with a Life Orb and Overcoat as its ability. Mystical Fire, Earth Power, Protect, and last but not least, its signature move, Springtide Storm. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using Belly Drum Snorlax. First match coming at you guys for today's video. And this video is actually being recorded on Easter. So happy holidays to everybody who celebrates the holiday. If you're not celebrating the holiday, hopefully you're having an amazing day. But this video is going to go up after Easter. So. Happy holidays. That's what I wanted to say. But we're going up against a Blaziken team here in match number one. They also have Wo Shen, who you haven't seen too often in Regulation F, alongside with Landers, Fluttermane, Tornadus, and last but not least, they do have Mousehold. Okay, so not gonna lie, Blaziken's a little scary here, especially with Snorlax, but I'm still going to lead the Lax. So Snorlax is gonna come out here, and I'm either gonna lead Crest or Gothitelle. Would I rather lead here? Cress or Gothitelle? That's the real question. Gothel's a fake out user, which is pretty solid. Um, they could intimidate me, but intimidate's really not gonna do much for me. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? I think I'd rather go into Crest here. Crest is just a better Trick Room setter. It honestly, is. It's just a way better Trick Room setter. So I'm gonna go into both of these guys. Set Trick Room, go Glacier and Enamorous in the back end. I feel like the team like this four right here is probably what we're going to be using in these battles maybe a slight switch up but i i like this a lot i like this a lot we're gonna to try to pull off belly drum we don't have citrus berry which i kind of don't like like that's just like a staple with belly drum but figgy berry could come in clutch because if i get low enough to use figgy berry with gluttony i'm gonna get so much hp back it's just i might double the hp recovery okay gluttony's good i like gluttony with the berries let's see who they end up leading here it could be blaze again which would be scary but it's gonna be mouse and tornadus so Bringing in Mousehold into Anonymous kind of leads me to think this is Pop Bomb Mousehold. Not gonna sit here and lie. So I'm honestly thinking of just terrestrializing you, just in case Pop Bomb wants to come after that slot. And then going into a Trick Room. I do have Covert Cloak, which is good, but you can still taunt me, can't you? That could be annoying, but I'm still gonna go for it. I'm still gonna go for it, and I'm gonna go for this Terra here. So they're gonna terrestrialize as well. Hopefully it is Mousehold. Probably Mousehold normal. Yeah. And fingers crossed for it going into the Lax. If this is going into Lax, this is massive. This is just huge. But I could see it going after Crest, which could be annoying. Maybe I should have just like got the tell. Show me going into the Lax. Show it to me. But this is exactly why I thrash last ghost. Give it to me. Give me a nice big time pop bomb dodge. If we can actually get this dodge, we would be sitting in a really good position. A monster position. Pop bomb's gonna find Crest. How much damage are you taking, Press? You can survive. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And you're gonna survive. But what are you doing here, Tornadus? Bleak Wind Storm. Dodge a Crest. Dodge a Crest. They both dodge. They both dodge. I saw Strux. I was like, no. A double dodge. It legit just sets us up. In a amazing position. In an amazing position. 
Oh my lord. Thank you, Poke Gods. Thank you, Poke Gods. So you can't pop on my Snorlax anymore. Um, I am just going to throw a big rock slide across the board with plus six now. And I'm just going to Lunar Blessing, get Snorlax back as much HP as we can. So I'm also just going to hit a nice little protect here. Um, Lunar Blessing going to come out here and rock slide. I think rock slide will KO this Tornado is no problem. Correct? Or did he dodge it? Payback. We got it's, it's payback there. Let's be honest. I'll take that. I'll take the bleak windstorm dodge for the rock side miss. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, no big deal. But I do get some lunar blessing HP back. Bleak windstorm's gonna fly. And this is actually Oh no, Crest survives. I'ma just do this again. I'm just do this again. There's my figgy bear. Watch how much HP I get back. Watch how much HP I get. Wow. <laughs> that's like a hundred. I think it was like 90. It's beautiful. But from here, we're gonna spam another rock side. Um, I am just going to Helping Hand Rock Slide make sure both these guys go down, unless they're Sash. Actually, you could be Sash. So, you know what? Let's just let's just get back more HP. Let's just get back more HP. We might as well, right? We might as well. Rock Slide's going to double connect. Anybody Sash? No one's Sash. That's fine. Now we're sitting in an amazing position where I can just Helping Hand EQ. And I think we have at least two turns left in Trick Room. And we're going to bring Srox back up to pretty much full HP. Lovely. Lovely. Cool. The Snorlax thriving out here, match number one. Exactly what I wanted to do. Get the Trick Room up. Get the, uh... Get the Belly Drum rolling. And then start just Lunar Blessing and letting Snorlax do the work. Because he's back up to full HP already. Back up to full HP. We did luck out. Bleak Wind Storm Dodge. We love it. But we did miss an attack. They're going to go Flutter Main. They're going to go Woe Shen. No problem. Not a problem at all. And we got to see how many turns are left in this Trick Room. Which is two. It's uh, That's awesome. So I think going for... EQ rather than Rockside. Actually, Rockside's gonna pick up KOs. Actually, Rockside can miss. We're going for EQ. All I really care about is this Flutter Main. Let's be honest here. All I care about is the Flutter Main. So I'm gonna go Helping Hand. I'm gonna go EQ here. Crest has Levitate. We're not gonna hit it. And Wochan probably is gonna survive here, but Flutter Main, get it on out of here. Unless you're Sash. Unless you're Sash, you go home right now. You're gone. See you later. Get it going. Bye bye, Flutz. So Flutter Main gone. Bo Chen's still on the field. I think we got the sweep pretty much under wraps here. I'm gonna set up Leech Seed, but yo, I'm dropping Rock Slide's helping hand all day. You're gonna Leech Seed me? He's actually just gonna protect this turn. So I might actually just Lunar Blessing. If you're gonna protect this turn, I might as well just Lunar Blessing, because Rock Slide should KO you. Considering EQ did that much damage, being not very effective, I think Rock Slide ha has enough damage to actually just kill you. Actually, you got back a lot of HP. Actually, why would I just go for a Body Slam? Get that stab going. So body slam, lunar blessing. Wrap it up. You gonna protect? No, you're just gonna die out to this body slam. That's cool. Get it on out my face. Snorlax, thriving out here. Match number one. We're one and zero. Oh. Bring out the brooms. Moving on to match number two, and I would love to set that belly drum up again, but we're going up against a trick room team, so this one might be a bit harder for us. We have to bring in our trick room Pokemon, but it's pretty much just gonna be a trick room war here. They got Iron Boulder. They got Blood Moon Ursaluna. They got Enamorous just like us. They also have Iron Crown and Didi. And last but not least, they do have Sinisha, a great support Pokemon with an awesome ability of hospitality. Um, who should I lead here? Could go Goth to Tell, because Fake Out's going to be very powerful. And honestly, I'd rather just either go for Follow Me Belly Drum here. Do you have any double hitting moves? Springtide Expanding Force. Uh, yeah, that's looking, that's looking rather annoying. Um, hmm. Do we think they lead in DD? Possibly. Possibly, right? I don't have... Hmm, I don't have Fake Out. Or I don't have... Or I can't Fake Out in the terrain, I should say. I'm still going to go Gothitelle. I'm going to go Snorlax and Glacier. And Enamor is going to be my back end Pokemon. The reason I did not like... I wanted to go Clefairy originally. But the reason I did not like it is if they just go like in DD Iron Crown. Expanded Force just a bit of a problem it's a bit of a problem so i guess we'll see what we want to do here but if they go in dd iron crown we might not even want to belly drum let's be honest here they go in dd iron crown and they do which is oh man it's tough it's tough so we want to pop trick room. that's gonna be a play we want to pop trick room here um i can't fake out i cannot fake out i don't have protect either so i'm just gonna go for trick room here and set up do i go for belly drum I say screw it. Yeah, yo, let's go for belly jump. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. And we're dead. We're so dead. 
I don't I, I, We might survive. Actually, Figgy Berry might help us out here. Let's see. Let's see what we got cooking here. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Figgy Berry should pop. Yeah. Cool. I love it. I like where we're sitting. All right. Good call on my end. Good call on my end. Belly drum out. Thank you, Figgy Berry. And that's why this... Actually, that's why I think the Figgy Berry is here at play. For moments like that. When we're below half HP. So we can go back above and then Belly Drum. So now we got Trick Room Belly Drum back out and about. We love it. Um, Heal Pulse is going to fly here into Snorlax. Gotta be. Do I just send it EQ? Or do I Rock Slide? Or do I Body Slam? I think we EQ. Even though I'm gonna... Who's slower? Are you slower, Gothitel? Please be slower than him. You're not. I can't go for EQ. I just gotta go for Heal Pulse. You go for follow me, that'd be tough, but I'm going for Rock Slide here. Actually, I'd rather just body slam you. Actually, no, Rock Slide. Rock Slide could still chuck up damage, and I get a flinch chance. No follow me's, hopefully. That's really the hope. Iron Crown's gonna protect. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. It's totally fine by me because I get off this Rock Slide. Can he land onto the Indeedee, please? Can he please land? Do. That's some nice damage half. Can he flinch, maybe? We get the heal pulse off as well. Here you go, Snorlax. You want a little bit more HP? No problem. Heal up, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. And we get the flinch. And we get the flinch. All right. Now, we could actually just hard swap into, like, Enamorous. Get the flying type going. And now we can send EQs. Come on, man. Come on, man. Snorlax killing it right now. Killing it. Enamorous is going to come out here. We get the flying type next to it. Restaurant's back up to 200 HP. Helping hand gonna come out here. And if you're not sashed, you're a goner. You're a goner. EQ flying. And I think Snorlax already proved it can eat up with Expanded Force. But there goes EQ. You're sashed. You're sashed. You're sashed. <laughs> you are sashed, which is tough news. So we get rid of Indeedee. We still have Goth to tell, which is great. Expanded Force is gonna fly here. Looking scary. Ah! That hurt, man. That hurt. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. So I wonder who they're gonna bring out here. Did they bring out like Ursaluna? Yep. We need we gotta hope that like Snorlax is slower. We gotta hope that Snorlax is slower. What, what speed are you enamorous? You gotta be slow too. 66, 55. How slow are you? How slow are you, Snorlax? Hopefully you're slow enough. Alright, from here, we're just gonna go for, I guess, like a Springtide Storm or Mystical Fire. We'll go for Springtide Storm. And we're just gonna go for an EQ here. The Snorlax is slower, which is gorgeous. We love that. Can this KO the Ursulina? I don't know if it can. It doesn't. I knew Ursulina could bulk out pretty well there. But I wanted to get rid of the Iron Crown. So there's that. Springtide Storm's gonna outspeed. And that's go KO! Beautiful! Beautiful! Yo, this team rocks, man. This team rocks. It's killing it. I love Enamorous' little paddles on his feet. This little web paddle feet. <laughs> Got those duck feet. Little web feet. We love it. But Iron Boulders can come out as the final Pokemon. I think there's two turns left in Trick Room. If it's two turns, we lock up another sweep. If it's two turns, we lock up another sweep. No problem. And it's one. So you can protect here. You can protect. You could swap. Into like Glacier, but... I'm actually just going to swap into Gothitelle. And just Rock Slide. Because I think you're going to protect. Oh, no, they just canceled the battle. Cool. So we get the sweep match number two. Back-to-back -back sweeps. It's time for our final match. And now we're going up against Straight Meta. This team I've seen plenty of times on the ladder. They're rocking out with Urshifu alongside with Ogre Pond. Furthermore, they got Fluttermane for a graph. And last but not least, they got the Incineroar and Rillaboom combo. So double fake outs. So fake out gonna be a little bit of a problem. Could go into Gothitel of my own just to dodge fake out. I kind of want to try to set up Belly Drum. But at the same time, I kind of want to set up Trick Room. Got multiple different options. I wonder who they're gonna lead here. Because my team's heavy Trick Room. Their team can thrive outside of Trick Room. I am gonna end up leading Gothitel. What's your terror type, Gothitel? I could actually just make it simple here. And probably just go like. Cress. I think we just go Cress Clefairy here for the lead. Follow me until Clefairy dies. Get off Trick Room. 
and then try to get Snorlax out there. Would be a bit better of an option for us. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I kind of still want to go for Belly Jump Snorlax. Belly Jump Snorlax is just so good. And then we'll bring Glacier in the back end. So this one's gonna be tough. I'm hoping. This one I'm hoping. Follow me, Trick Room with Cress, and then have whatever Pokemon to throw it on the field. K O Clefairy. Hopefully in that one turn. And then next turn I can just go into uh, Lunar Blessing, Belly Drum, get the Snorlax back out there. But they go Incineroar and Urshifu, which I don't mind. Um, I do have Cover Cloak on Crest, which is good. <clears throat> and they're just going to do this. So yeah, follow me. Definitely going to come out here. I'd have the Cover Cloak on Crest, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm just going to set up the Trick Room. Trick Room. Follow me. Follow me. Love it. I do have Bat and Pass on this thing. Which is kind of weird because isn't bat and pass used for like switching stat changes? It's gonna end up you turning out here. And they're not doing that much damage here, which is kind of annoying. They're probably gonna knock off my Evo Light, which I don't mind. But I knock off my Evo Light because I want this Clefairy gone. So it ends up U turn pivoting. He's gonna go into Flutter Man. The Flutter Flutter's gonna come out here. He's gonna end a Protosynthesis popping into speed. Speed, cool. We don't care about speed. I'm gonna go for knockoff into the Clefairy, take off my Evo Light. And that's fine now. That's fine because I get off Trick Room. So I'm not gonna heal pulse. I want Clefairy to die. I really want Clefairy to die. So I'm just gonna go for another follow me. And I'm just going to Moonblast, chunk up some damage onto. Um. Incineroar? Mmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger. <laughs> Try eeny, meeny, miny, mo it. I don't know, because it doesn't really matter with the plan I'm going for. You know what? Incineroar's got a bit more HP. We'll go Incineroar. We'll go Incineroar. It's not. It's not that big of a deal. So Fluttermane's going to end up protecting, and actually, it worked out perfectly. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo worked. Follow me comes out here. Can you just KO my Clefairy? Go for Flare Blitz. KO it. Stop wasting out Trick Room turns. I need these turns. I need these turns. Stop it. Stop it. We're going to do it again. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Three. Getting out of hand at this point. Getting out of hand. Attack Clefairy. KO Clefairy. K.O. Clefairy. Hit this Pokemon in the face with a move. Right now. Dump on this thing. Ogre Pond comes out. Hit this thing. Hit Clefairy. Please. Thank you! KO it! No! What is going on? My plan's like ruined now. I kinda need Clefairy. We have to waste out more turns. We're going for Lunar Bustle. Let's heal this bad boy up. Let's heal these bad boys up. We're gonna try to. We're, tr we're gonna try to redo Trick Room, man. Alright. We gotta reset the Trick Room now. Why couldn't you just KO my Clefairy? I don't have Evil Light. I'm probably dead anyway now. But I'm getting some HE back. Because I'm not playing around. I'm dead to that, aren't I? This is just terrible, man. Like, wasting out all my turns for not KO my Clefairy? What are you doing? I mean, it's working. Now I'm sitting in this awful position. Sitting in this awful position, I'm, and I am gonna try to go for a nice little Snorlax turn here. How many turns? We have one turn left in Trick Room, right? You might just protect, but I'm just gonna go Lunar Blessing, and I'm gonna pop this Belly Drum. Oh my, this is bad. Oh man, protect that, protect your Pokemon here. Waste out the last turn in Trick Rooms just so I can get back HP, and then maybe Terrasalize and be able to set up another Trick Room. Oh man. They're terrestrializing as well. Oh, dude, putting on the mask. Wish I kind of had thick fat here. 
Let's see how they end up playing this one. Bad news. This is bad news. This is bad news. We are getting swamped out here. So I go with the belly drum. Sats are boosted. You didn't protect here, which is kind of odd. Lunar Blessing gonna fly here. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball on the crest. We already know this is popping. I am gonna get back a ton of HP. They might double down the crest. Let's be honest here. They might double down. Go ahead, go after Crest. Nope, they're going after Snorlax. Snorlax still has Figgy Bang, which is good. It's getting out of hand at this point. Getting real out of hand. It's getting real out of hand. Oh my lord. As much as something out of hand could get. This match is out of hand. This match is out of hand. We gotta go for another trick room. Oh, man. And I gotta thrash slash you in the water. Because I don't get swept. We're gonna lose this match no matter what. But I'm gonna go for a heavy slam. We're gonna KO the Flutter main, hopefully. And not get swept. Dude, this match was just a mess on my end. Absolute mess. As messy as a ma match can get. Like, all I wanted was for them to KO Clefairy. And then it got to the point where it's like, dude, they haven't KO'd my Clefairy yet. And this is just a problem. But now Crest is dead. Bye, Crest. Thanks for popping out here. They're probably doubling down into my Crest regardless. They're gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel. I soak this. But I have fingers crossed that we KO the Flutter me here, right? Because if not, we get swept. Can you KO, please? Thank you. Thank you. Flutter main gone. That was just a mess. Sorry you guys had to watch that. But hey, the first two matches were phenomenal, so... Can't complain. That's what we get for sweeping our first two matches. Yeah, that was just... You just got out of hand. My plan did not work. It sounded good in my head. It was just like, all right, can you KO my Clefairy? Because if, if they KO my Clefairy in one, two, maybe three turns, that gives me two turns to set up my, uh, my Snorlax. And at that point, they just couldn't KO my Clefairy. And it was just, it was just a mess. It was just a mess. But from here... They, they can just fake me out. You know, I'm just running this one. We didn't get swept, but hey, we got 2-1 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 with this Belly Jump Snorlax team. Absolutely love this guy, especially in match number one, match number two. Match number three, we're just not even going to talk about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Snorlax killed it. Once we set up Belly Jump, it was pretty much GG's. Pairing it up next to Cresselia. Rocking EQ. Same thing with Enamorous. Have that flying type on it so EQ can fly. Plus, Body Slam and Rock Slide also hit like a truck as well. I feel like any move's hitting like a truck, especially when you're plus six. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.